In a previous video, I showed how to make a context level data flow diagram. Now I'm going to take the previous example and turn it into a level zero diagram. A level zero diagram is very much like a context diagram except for this symbol right here which represents the process gets exploded or decomposed and becomes a series of processes. So let me recreate the diagram and I will say applicant and I will add in my engineering manager. Now let's suppose that I know that there are three processes that are part of the hiring system. One of those processes is going to be creating the job opening. So I'm going to add a process here and I will label it 1.0 and I will call it create job opening. And just like the other one, I am going to add the data. The data flow is going to be, and I have to double click on there, job description. And when the engineering manager creates the job description, it actually gets put into a database. So I'm going to go over here to the data store symbol and add that to the diagram. And I'm going to call that the job database. Now we don't put data stores on context level diagrams because that's too much detail. Uh, but we do start to put them on level zero and below diagrams. Okay, with that we're done with the process for creating a job opening. Another process that's part of the hiring system is receiving the application. So I'm going to put another process here, call it 2.0, and as before, I'll create a line that says application. It's looking a little scrunched, so let me uh, move things around a little bit. Okay, good enough. Right, and similar to the job database, um, oops, I forgot to give it a name. We'll call this receive application. And similar to the job database, we will also have an application database. So I'll put another data store here, and I will create a data flow, double click on that line, and I'll put received application here. Now I'm following a best practice uh, in renaming it because uh, usually we rename any data flow as it passes through some process which transforms it and in fact I need to put something here but just to show that I can do it both ways I can say job description or I could say formatted job description okay so now my diagrams are correct for those two processes there is one additional process that is part of this hiring system, and that is scheduling an interview. So I'm going to add that in here and call that process three. And, and by the way, the reason why we call this a level zero diagram, which can be a little bit confusing, is because there's a whole number followed by a zero. But that's not to be confused with the context diagram, which just has a zero on there. So the level zero diagram refers to the zero that's after the whole number. Okay, so back to scheduling an interview. So I schedule, oops. Uh, and, and the logic here is that there's, in, in any large organization, there are gonna be lots of managers that are putting out or job openings for lots of different jobs, and there are lots of people applying, and so a human resource division would be filtering, would be advertising the jobs as well as filtering the applicants and then helping to schedule interviews uh, with the managers. And so there's going to be different schedules for the managers versus the applicants. So uh, one thing that might happen is as part of the application, it might include the availability of the applicant. So I'll put received application here. Um, and I will use that information, or maybe just the um, schedule information from that application as part of the scheduling process. 
And then I will also, uh, as part of this process, contact the engineering manager to find out about their schedule. So I have the schedules from two sides that are part of this process. And once I have scheduled a time that works for both, I will create a data flow back to the applicant, which is going to be the applicant interview schedule. And this is a schedule which only includes this applicant's information in it. And there will be another one, which will be the manager interview schedule. And this one will be a schedule of all of the interviews that have been scheduled through this uh, human resource function. And that is a level zero, level zero diagram.